So before we begin, uh, people of Toronto, we are very, very sorry for the tragedy that has hit your city. Ten people as of now, multi- uh, dead, multiple injured. And was just a horrific attack. I mean, there's no, there's no other way to say it. Horrific attack. Yeah. To our to our Canadian friends up north, uh, we are very sorry. And we, we, we offer our condolences to you. I mean, look, I ain't going to go with the whole thoughts and prayers thing. I'm not going to go with that. Just condolences. Very sorry. You have the support of the real American people. Yes. <clears throat> that being said, now, it's Real Honesty with John Ritlin. And the Durbinator. A raw... St. Louis. St. Ludifisk. A uh, a review, so a 10-bell salute to Bruno. Brilliant. Good, Excellent. St- good stuff. Very good stuff. Lashley seemed confused without his headband. Hmm. He, he was keeps all the blood in his brain. So he Otherwise, it goes through his gigantic mass of muscles. All those muscles. Um, Speaking of muscles, imagine, man, the, the shape that Bruno was in even into his 80s. You know, great yeah. stuff. And de- uh, the dedication to Bruno, Um, you know, the, the, the tweets and the... The clips from his matches and the little interview pieces and stuff like that. It's very well done. Um, We're obviously recording this while WWE has their own thing on the network about this. Yep. (laughs) This should be good. Should be good stuff. We'll watch it at some point. Well, I mean, I'll watch it at some point. You will. Um, But yeah, you know, one of the the, the on-the-mount Rushmore of wrestling, period. Bruno has to be on there. Now, will it be more than four people? Sure. Bruno has to be on there for the big draw that he wants. You know right where George Washington said is? There. Yeah, that's about right. No, that sounds about right. Bruno was one of the true pioneers of wrestling. Did he have help because of Vince McMahon Sr.? And other promoters? Yes. Mm-hmm. And I say of other promoters and other promoters because Bruno did make his mark in other places. But one of the best of all time. He will be sorely missed. Now, man, can you imagine the matches that are going on up, 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 up high above now? Dusty Rhodes, Heenan and Monsoon calling the action. Man. No, I mean, I'm just um, I mean... People say, yeah, Ultimate Warrior's up there. I'll save that. I'll save that rant for another day. Rest in peace, Bruno. <laughs> I believe we already did that rant another day. We did. I, I especially did. Uh, coach is on the assignment, a.k.a. golfing. I'm never going to golf. Obama golfs too much. Got this you. seems like a huge cost to the taxpayers. Ah, uh, politics aside, yeah, uh, Coachman, I... Yeah, Honestly, but- you, remind, you, you then reminded us of why we... Can, like having Booker T on commentary. Yes. Because Booker T was on commentary tonight. This is true. And Coach is in Saudi Arabia. You think with how he deals with women that he that he would fit right in there. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yes. Um, but yeah, Booker T on commentary, unfortunately. Bork and Heyman. It was mm. typical. I didn't care. Reigns came out, barely said anything. This is how you build this match. J- just give it to Reigns. Give it to somebody else. More deserving after this. Get this shit over, please. Something. Yes. <clears throat> or have Bork retain just to piss us all off and have him drop it to Lashley. I don't care. Have him drop it to Braun. Have Kurt Hawkins beat him. I don't care That'd at this hilarious. point. It would be hilarious, actually. And Hawkins and Ryder could fight over the whole thing. Um, but just, I don't care. I didn't care about this. I don't care. Yep. Brock's going to fight in the UFC and be in WWE on a paid per appearance, apparently, reportedly. Whatever. Just just something. Just something interesting happened. It'll save them a lot of money, even if it's $500,000 <clears> per <throat> match. Yes. Um, Reigns is not, he doesn't deserve the universal title. They're going to give it to him, though, and Saudi Arabia, being the doofus as they are, well, the government are going to cheer him. <clears throat> um, whew. Why waste our time, honestly? First match, Rude versus Elias. It was decent. It, yeah. it, it was a well-worked match. I mean, Elias got the win. Mm-hmm. That was good. The crowd was eh. Yeah, Bob did get a good offense in. <clears throat> Good stuff. Yeah. I mean, Elias winning was nice. Even if it was via shady, shady shenanigans. Are there any other kind? Shady shenanigans. Yeah, I did kind of screw that one up there. No, it's a great alliteration. It is. I guess so. I did kind of screw up shenanigans first. Matt and Bray. Graves being the Woken Mark is just fantastic. Oh, good. The Lake of Reincarnation goal. <laughs> Great. Uh, Graves is one of the few bright spots of commentary. Are we? And, and by the way, with how Cole was, are we sure that Cole didn't have the stroke instead of Jerry Lawler? I mean, did you hear Booker T talk? Booker hasn't made sense since Triple H buried him in 2003. True. Well, he's made sense. <clears throat> I mean, he had to. He barely made some good money with that damn match, I swear to God. Yeah. 
<coughs> Woken, Wyatt, or the Deleter of Worlds, as people have called them. Including Matt. Yes, and it makes sense. Versus the Ascension. Victor needs, uh, you know, just from the hair club for men thing yeah. badly. Him and Corbin can team up. Corbin's on later. The hair club for men. And just the Woken Wyatt's win, duh. They're going to face the bar for the Raw tag titles despite the bar being on SmackDown. I will be watching the greatest Royal Rumble, by the way, despite my rant a little later. But you will not be watching. You will be at work. Mm-hmm. It's going to be six hours, so don't be surprised if I'm angry by the end of it. Or hangry. Either or. Yes. You had the idea that the Ascension might join the Woken Wyatt's. At some point. The leader of worlds. Because God <laughs> knows they, they need something. Anything. And their gimmicks would be suited perfectly for it. Yes. They would. And then the Sammy and Kevin show. Why were why were we handpicked by Stephanie McMahon? I don't know. Yeah, but then Kurt... To make Kurt steamed? Steamed oh hams. God. Would Kurt be Skinner or Super, or Super Man Chalmers? With how inept he is. be steamed hams. He would be. That's a good point. He is He is about the color of a steamed ham. And he's essentially ground meat. That's how he talks. Also, Kurt will be in the greatest rumble. Yes. Seriously. Because reasons. They should bring back Muhammad Hassan for that. They should. They should. Do you think he would actually... Does he still wrestle? No, I, I think he's in... He does comic book stuff or something. Or he does, does some kind of entertainment uh, mm. stuff. We should study up on that. Um, just keep Taker away from him because that didn't end so well the last time they did that. Eh. But, so, Kurt then makes a match. It's Sammy and uh, Kevin mm-hmm. versus uh, Lashley and Braun later. They did have some good zingers there. And, of course, mentioned Jason Jordan, which unfortunately means Jason Jordan's coming back. Yeah, well, he has to. I don't mind Jason Jordan, but just... It's a dumb angle. Yes, it is. In more ways <clears throat> than one. <laughs> Valor Club is for everyone. Um, team up, just team Gable and Jordan back together. Reunite American Alpha. Reunited and it... Well, actually, uh, Kurt Angle did specifically state that he wants Chad as a uh, single star. And the match he put on with Jinder Mahal proves that, which we will get to in just a minute. McIntyre and Ziggler versus Titus Worldwide and and Dana. Dana ripping off Lacey Evans' look. You bastard. Not very well, I might add. Dana is... Bastard. <clears throat> Titus Worldwide just doing, doing doing their best here. Drew and Ziggler, they're trying to make him the killer elite squad from New Japan. That's what they're trying to do. Just no one's throwing coffee on Jake the Snake Roberts like Davey Boy Smith Jr. did. You... you you British bullpup. Man, jeez, I, I, I guess you inherited some of your dad's stupidity. Your dad's one of the greatest of all time. One of the Meanwhile, most <clears throat> back at the plot. Right. So McIntyre and Ziggler make quick work. Yes. And Charlie was checking Drew out. Sweet Jesus. Oh, God. She, uh... Whew. She, she, she was out in the tank top, sweatpants, and nothing else. And probably didn't need to be in anything else. There's a, a woman looks good in just about anything. But she was checking. They had to bring Drew. out a mop during the commercial break. Primony. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, <clears throat> but the look in her eyes was something of. Uh, she was looking at Drew like John looks at Oscar. Where a court order is going to come into play at some point? Probably. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Drew took a shot at people collecting paychecks like Brock. He might face Brock at SummerSlam. Ooh, Drew takes the Universal Title from Brock. Hmm. Drew's more interesting, by the way, than Roman. And I, mm. and I will fight you if you disagree, or if you're a woman, I'll just say... That was good. That was a good way to cut me off from making a bad joke there. You're welcome. <clears throat> yes. Gable and uh, Gender, of course, he did make a funny joke. Oh, you're the th- you're the kid that uh, that Braun Strowman won the tag titles with. It's the one good thing that Gender said in the, in, in the last, like... It's the one bit of good material that creative has given Gender... <clears throat> He did make a mini-me joke at one point, which I'm not faulting gender for, I'm faulting creative for. Yeah. Just seriously, don't make fun of children, no matter how old they are. Gable versus gender. Going to hell, seriously. <laughs> Gable versus gender. Why? I mean, Gable won, so that's good. If you want to, <clears throat> if you want to push a face, push uh, Gable as a face again, you have to push him against somebody who the crowd absolutely hates. 
And Jinder Mahal is the perfect target. Yes, he has to seek and destroy with, uh, G- with gender there. Yes. Right. I mean, agreed. I just, I don't like, I don't like gender at all. I mean, he's not even really good at gathering heat. Like, you know what I mean? Not even good at gathering heat. <clears throat> In a good way. Not even he's, a Harlow. Harlow heat, God damn it. Ruby, Liv, and Sarah. Ruby says something. Liv says something. Sarah, I grew up in a cabin. Sarah? I remember going through hunting, hunting with my family, and then going to talk about it, and then they took my job. Sarah and Ruby are beautiful. Liv is also there. Sorry. I mean, it's not that Liv looks bad. No, she's ugly. She's just generic to me. But, eh, I mean, maybe they should give them... Maybe they should work on them with promos or give them more time in front of, like, the house show crowd. Or sticking them on TV. Mm-hmm. But what up? No more, no more recaps. No more. No they more, de- Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Clean. Oh, okay, that's how, that's what it was. Braun and Lashley versus uh, Braun and Lashley with Lashley's headband, by the way. Yes. <clears throat> versus uh, Zayn and Owens. Decent, good stuff. They Zayn and Owens got in a lot more offense than I expected. Yeah, it, we were expecting this to be a bit of a squash <clears throat> match. Lashley sold pretty well. Mm-hmm. He had a really good delayed vertical suplex. Dear God, that man is still insanely strong. And then Braun. Who, by the way, should be facing Brock for the Universal title and beating him because Braun is everything Roman's not, a.k.a. good. And over. <laughs> yeah, the fans actually like him because um, he's interesting. Braun just... The fact that Braun can get that kind of speed and beat people like that. Choo-choo! Right? <laughs> the fact that he can make a shoulder tackle look good. Yeah. I mean, it, it was up to Zayn and Owen selling that stuff, but true. Mm-hmm. Braun's just the you know, same monster. Braun and Lashley win. When it came to shoulder tackles, I thought I had seen enough. Or the STF. Mm. Oh, God. Just no mm. pressure on that thing at all. It was good, though. It was good stuff. Braun and Lashley win. Yep. Maybe they get pushed as tag team champions at some point. I mean, why not? If you're not going to do anything with them, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Baron... You know, uh, uh, comes out and says, I'm not going to uh, face you, No Way Jose. You're going to get some of your guys to beat me up. Baron, the fact that you were worried about... I'm a big about- pansy and I'm so scared of your dances. God, Baron, the fact that you were scared of guys that are glorified rosebuds or fiesta buds or whatever the fuck we're calling them now. And I have nothing against No Way fiesta Jose. Fiesta folks. <clears throat> oh, God, there's seven of them. Fiesta folks. Congo FF- compatriots. <clears throat> FF7. What? Or the Advent Children? What? Am I just dragging on with this here? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then Baron attacks No Way Jose. Great. And he hits a backbreaker on the stage, which has to hurt so much. More. Yes. Attack the weak point for massive damage. <laughs> His hairline? That's why Baron was being cheered by Booker T. They have the same hairline. Mm. They are also against No Way Jose, who has a plethora of hair. On his head, hopefully. Hopefully nowhere Most else. Most likely, yes. Hopefully nowhere else. And nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> a moment of bliss. Oh, this. Uh oh, this. it's magic. This is great. You know. No. This and was... I was laughing God. constantly. We we got screenshots that we will use, in fu- and I'm sure you will use in future title cards, and we will use in memes. But man, memes, that... <laughs> glorious memes. Alexa is just great. I mean, yes. besides fact, she's beautiful. She's also she's also getting a lot better on the mic. I mean, she's been great just doing this stuff for a couple of years, especially since she's been healed, which actually has been three years now. Yeah. It's great stuff. It's great stuff. The moment of bliss thing. Um, <clears throat> of course, no woman would actually give away, uh, you know, a burrito bowl. Yeah. Or a taco bowl or whatever. It was a burrito bowl. Burrito bowl. Was that what it was? Okay. First I, of all, nobody eats a burrito bowl. <clears throat> it's always a taco bowl. And if you're not eating a taco bowl, you should be eating tacos. And are apparently these... Paige is rubbing off on Sonya to do it. <laughs> I was going to say, are these, speaking of tacos, are these euphemisms that I'm just missing totally? Um, and by the way, Balor and Rollins versus Axel and uh, Dallas. That was all right. It was all right. Balor all right, all right, all right. His performance in the Dark Tower is just an extended version of his Lincoln commercial yeah. persona. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Banging all his bongos naked in his damn house. What the hell's wrong with that guy? Natty, Ember. He's rich. It's true. Uh, and insane. Natty, Ember, Naya, Sasha, Bailey versus Alexa, Mickey, and the Riot Squad. 
The and right squad. Yes. Now, look, they gave the women the main event slot. Great. Good job. You care about equality. Oh, and wait. then they run an advertisement for the greatest Royal Rumble. The one that the women really won't have anything to do because it's Saudi Arabia and they don't let women wrestle. It's already bad enough you're going to a camel riding backwoods country that you know, might as well just have a government that's from the plague era. Mm. That literally should be, and I'm sorry, they should be beaten in the streets for how they treat women. That's how you get the damn point across. Okay. Beat them in the head, have camels sit on them, hurled stones at him. I don't care what you do. The fact that they view women, gays, and all that kind of stuff as in is, you know, unequals, they're pieces of shit. Now, yeah, okay, we gotta respect their rules. Respect their rules. We're not policing the world. Okay. But, but John, what about <laughs> tolerating people? What about what? Tolerating people. Yeah, well, I mean, I tolerate plenty of people. People tolerate me, sort of. It's just, it's difficult to tolerate the intolerant. It is. That's why anyone who votes for Trump, that, that supports Trump still, I have no respect for you, including my own family members. But here's the thing. You already are slapping the women in the face. You're slapping Sonya in the face and other gay stars that you've had before by going there. Now I get they money money talks. They followed a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get that. Saudi Arabia's got a lot of money. What, America going <laughs> to a Middle Eastern country because they have money? Well, they had to oil them up. Yeah. But anyway. There they is gotta keep Roman's hair slick somehow. The wet hair. Petroleum. It's just, it's embarrassing. That's why they got rid of the pyrotechnics. For, 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 for the oil in the hair. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. It's just embarrassing, guys. Now, yes, I will be watching the Greatest Royal Rumble if it's interesting. If it's not, I'm tuning out. I'm gonna go take a nap. I've already tuned out. What were we talking about? We were talking about the t uh, the ten woman tag. Oh right. Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Man, so if only they, they hadn't interrupted that match with something that distracted yeah. me. The government can suck on. Not the citizens. The citizens are progressive. You are plenty cool with me. The ones that aren't. We do not judge the many based upon the actions of the few. But no. when it comes to a government, they are the few. Yes. Now. The match itself was not actually that bad. All the women got a pretty good chance to shine. Naya showing power moves. That's how you book her. So, and I hope Natty's okay because that sharpshooter spot where Sarah clipped her, I hope Natty's okay. Now, Natty was probably just really selling well. Yeah. But, Rhonda, then after Mickey had attacked her for a few times, Rhonda's music hits and Rhonda comes down doing the Santino <laughs> You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. This was. R Rhonda hit a really good, like, quick armbar where that could have, as you said, snapped someone's arm. Yeah, it was a quick armbar. I'm really hoping that wasn't, uh, you know, a stiff work because that would have hurt like a motherfucker. Why you gotta mention stiff with some of the women there in this match? They don't get boners. Just not gonna let me have that joke, are you? Never. Okay, good. All right. And it's funny that Alexa and Alexa Bliss and Discount Alexa Bliss, aka Liv Morgan, were on the same team. Hmm. And apparently, uh, Liv likes to lick, lick Smurfs before she comes out to the ring. Yeah. What was with Liv's uh, <laughs> blue tongue? Or Mickey? I mean, I don't know. Maybe Mickey's denim is, you know, the color was rubbing off. I mean, take that how you want, guys. But Have you guys tried the blue mints in the water bowl? Where did you get them? Somebody poisoned the water hole. Uh, there are these big blue mints in the water bowl. God. They Liv taste a little bit like bleach. Liv Bork is Tara Reed in Sharknado. That's what she is. Oh, God. Um, I, I, B minus? C plus. B I I want to say B minus because they gave some effort, but it's like there was some. I'll say B minus because I think they did some good stuff with some of the story building, but the whole Grace Royal Rumble thing's a mess. So anyway, that's what we gotta say. Yeah. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Yeah. Like, like comment, subscribe. Possibly. I mean, if you want. I mean, uh, watch. Watch the tons of shows that are posted from him, from me, from the two of us. We could make it if we try. <laughs> Just the two of us? You will die. Well, eventually. Anyway, been real honest with Jarmuth Lenand. We will be back tomorrow for the down smack. <laughs>